To me, cooking is sharing and community. I mean, not only do I love people to taste things that I taste, uh, and I love turning on somebody to something that they've never had, but I also think that it's just one of the great ways people, it, it brings out the best conversation that I think I've ever had. I've actually been really lucky in my chef career, because I did work at the Ebbet, uh, the old Ebbet Grill for a long time, and uh, it, they, it was really a fun, fun tenure, because I came to the Ebbet after working at a rather small restaurant in uh, DuPont Circle cooking Mediterranean food. So when I started at the Ebbet, oh, it was just wonderful to be there. And in keeping the Ebbet in perspective, it's the busiest restaurant in, uh, in Washington, D.C., for sure, and the sixth busiest in the country. Uh, here at the Press Club, it's totally different. I mean, it's just, a, it's just different. Our whole business is banquets, continental breakfasts, regular breakfasts, seated luncheons, uh, box lunches, cocktail parties, dinners, uh, things up in the reliable source uh, in terms of the daily buffet. It's just different. And so getting to know the, the different flow of business, of banquet pre preparation is it's been, you know, there's been a learning curve. There's no denying that, but I'm very happy to have just rewritten all the banquet menus and people seem to like them, so that's kind of cool. Oh, how often do I change the menu? Well, the thing is, because I'm so seasonal, I really like right now, I just put some new things on the menu that incorporate basil and heirloom tomatoes because they're in and fresh corn. That's how I cook. I really think this time of year, well, actually, any time during the year. Whatever's coming in season is going to taste the best. Traditionally, you know, before we had refrigeration and flying foods all over the place and, 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 and Mr. Birdseye and his frozen vegetables, uh, we would eat what's seasonal. You know, you would only eat what you could either grow in your garden or your neighbors would give you or you could get within an X mile in a, uh, radius. That's this whole locavore uh, trend. Anyway, that's how I cook, locally. And so I change it as the seasons change. I think that the Fourth Estate is one of the most underutilized restaurants in D.C. because people generally just don't know we're here and we, they don't know that we're open to the public. That's part of the problem. I mean, I would do anything I could to get the word out that the Fourth Estate is open to the public. But it's tough because we're up here on the 13th floor and we don't have a street presence down on the main floor. So what I find is if we can get people in here once, people tend to come back because we're kind of a destination restaurant because the photos of the oh my goodness the candid photos of the presidents are so wonderful that all the people that have spoken at the NPC luncheons and then all the reporters photos themselves I mean just back back here on the wall I mean we've got Barack Obama when he was a senator with George Clooney and then the food I think is really good too we're doing very very nice food not only because I'm changing the menu once a week because I just inherited these incredibly talented cooks they're good they're good they they really get it they in in the way people get it if they're good cooks is that they taste their food so they know what they're serving is going to be good I like that well you know there are a lot of restaurant choices in town in town in terms of why someone should dine here is um, I think it's a twofold there's a twofold answer one is the venue won't disappoint, if I, if I can make that make the sense. I mean, if somebody's going to have a business meeting, we are so good in terms of setting that up so we can have enough privacy so that they can really talk and not be bugged. People don't go out for just the food. They go out because they want to be treated well. They want to dine. They want to talk to their friends. They want to talk about business. They want to catch up. They want to not have to think about what's on the plate so much after they've actually ordered. And I think that's what we offer. And on the heels of that, we have this wonderful venue in which there's this added value that people can show guests the photographs. They can bring them to a really storied location in Washington. I mean, people in Des Moines, Iowa know that there's a press club, and they've heard of the National Press Club, or they've seen the live, live broadcasts on C-SPAN. I mean, we really have, when we say we're 105 years old, I think that's very cool. I mean, we really do have this long history.